All right, guys, welcome to another video. So this video is going to be about firewalls. Uh, so I want to basically bring this up because it might raise some, raise some concerns for some people. So right now we can access our application. Uh, pretend this is our application. We can access it through directly from the load balancer, but we can also access it individually on each server. You don't want this to happen because obviously um, that would basically make the load balancer pointless. You don't want your customers actually be able to access this directly. Instead, what you want to do is you want to set it up so that uh, requests made to these endpoints or not endpoints, th these uh, these uh, this domain can only be done by the load balancer and no one else. OK, so what we need to do is we need to create uh, a firewall and we need to create a couple of rules. So I'm going to go ahead into DigitOcean. You're going to go to the networking tab. You're going to click on firewalls and we're going to create one. So I'll call this a. Uh, and what I'll do is we're going to have to create one for each droplet, seems like. Let's, let's just call this uh, S1. Okay. So what I'll do is, um, let's see. So for HTTP, so right now I'm just going to, I'm going to go ahead and leave it as all IPv4 and all IPv6. So all IP addresses. Okay. We'll leave the outbound rules alone. So this should apply for droplet number one. So S1. Okay, so now uh, let's go to S1. You're going to see that I can still access it and I can still access uh, all of the other, wait, whoops. And I can still access all the other servers as well. I didn't do anything with the other servers yet. Okay, all I did was I just created a firewall rule that literally just is doing the same thing what it's currently doing right now. Now watch what happens if I go ahead and edit this rule and I just go ahead and say, and I just click on save. So basically I'm saying that all requests made to this droplet over here, uh, to this droplet on port 80 via HTTP, no one can make that. So if I actually go over here, let's see what's going on here. Seems like it has to take some time to update. Hold on, give me one second. Uh, let's see. So we have new rule. Okay, so it seems like what I had was correct. It's just that my browser was uh was my my browser was just not taking the changes immediately. So that was that was the reason why. Because right now I'm still able to access it. Okay, like you can see that from over here directly, I think it's because it's like cache or something. So I, I need to restart my browser. But you can see that on the load balancer, you can see that S1 and S2 are the only ones that are accessible because we already created that firewall rule. Let me go back here. So if you go over here to networking and if you click on load balancer, you'll see that the S1 server should actually be, uh, let's see, it should be, I think it's not down, but like, I'm not sure why. Okay. Anyways, it, this this you can see that on the load balancer, it won't be able to actually reach the actual uh, S1 server. Uh, so let me just close that. Okay, there you go. You can see that it's down, and that's because we set up a firewall, and that's exactly what we want because we don't want users accessing these servers directly. We want them to go through the load balancer. Okay. Uh, so what what I'll do is I'm going to go back to the networking tab, and I'm going to go back over to firewalls. And so yeah, this is perfectly fine. Okay, so the rule that we had was fine. So what we want to do for this droplet, or at the very least, what we want to do is we only want incoming connections to come in for from the load balancer. So we'll add the source. So we'll type in load, and that's just going to be the name of our load balancer. That was the default name. So we're effectively saying that all HTTP requests made on all HTTP requests port 80 must come from this load balancer. Or it could be any specific IP address. If it does not come from this load balancer, then we're not going to, it's not going to take in that inbound connection. It's going to be blocked. Okay. So we're going to save that. Now, if I refresh, I should be able to see the S1 server back up again. It will take a bit to propagate, but it should come back up again in just a second. So what we're doing is we're saying, okay, uh, droplet number one, okay, it's going to, all requests are going to be made. All requests are going to come in 
for port 80. So let's just uh, wait that out real quick. All right, and there we go. So uh, this is the load balancer IP again, okay? And you can see now I can literally access S1, S2, S3. You can see that we still have that rule applied. I didn't change anything. If I go back to the domains, whoops, not that. If I go back to uh, load balancers, so I click here. So it's saying that it's down, but I think it should just need to be updated. It should technically be up, because uh, the load balancer should be able to make the request to this IP address. Okay, and I also just restarted my browser. And you can see that right now, well, I actually cleared the cookies as well. But uh, you can see that whenever I try to refresh the page, so this is the IP address of S1, okay? And you can see that I cannot reach it. However, if I want to reach it through the load balancer, let me just open up another tab again. Let me, let me keep this separate. If I want to reach it through the load balancer, I can. I just cannot access directly. Okay. Now, again, I don't know why the uh, the load balancer should say this is this is up. Um, let me actually, you know, let me let me let me see if I can configure this real quick because traffic for this droplet can come from the load balancer, so it should technically be available. But let me see if I can configure something. Uh, no, it seems like. Mm. Let me see. Oh, there we go. Okay, I was a little bit paranoid, but okay, it's good. All right, good. All right, so there we go. Uh, you can see that it's healthy. Good, so it's able to make requests uh, to those servers only from the load balancer. Okay, now if I try to go to the other servers so if i try to go s2 right now we can still reach s2 okay and we can still reach s3 as well so we have s2 and we have s3 but we just cannot reach s1 okay if we try to reach s1 it's not going to work you can only reach it through the load balancer so let's go ahead and configure the firewall so that way this rule applies for our other droplets so s2 and then we'll do S3. Let's add the droplet. Okay, so everything is up to date. If I refresh, you can see that now, okay, so because I cleared the cookies now, it should be fine. So you can see now, whenever I refresh, I cannot access this anymore. Okay, I cannot access it directly. But if I go ahead and if I refresh on the load balancer, you can see the S1, S2, and S3 are working just fine. So literally what we did was we limited access to the direct servers and we only allow the load balancer to make requests to that server. And what you can do is you can also add new rules. So let's say your load balancer might communicate via HTTPS. So what you want to do is you want to say, okay, HTTPS, um, HTTPS, and you'd want to put in the load balancer there, just like that. Uh, not sure why it pops up as that. Three, here we go. Okay, and then you just click save, and then that rule will be applied. And then any HTTPS connections, port 443, will only allow the will only be uh, sent to the droplets through the load balancer. You can add another one. You can also add something like a, a MySQL connection. You can add a custom. Uh, protocol, you can do TCP or UDP, you can do a custom port, um, really anything you want, okay, if you want to do MySQL, you can, okay, and that is pretty much it with uh, setting up the firewall, it's really easy, yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video uh, just to show you guys how this works, um, in case if you guys wanted to uh, see how that would be done. Hopefully that made sense. And in the next video, like I said, this the next video will actually go ahead and set up the domain name. So I'll see you guys in that video. Peace out.